between Sonic 2 for Game Gear and the Game Boy games, we will take a brief intermission and do an unboxing on this Psylocke figure. And as you can see by the rough edges in some places and the classy scotch tape on the side, it is actually a reseal. But it is truly a classic, as it is a Toy Biz figure from 1996, so I'm not upset about it being a reseal. I mean, it was only $2, so I'm going to open it up and put it out on display anyway. Uh, it's actually a figure from, as you can see by these uh, cool series from 1996 here. It's from the Light Up Weapon series, which had some really neat figures. Um, I especially like this Gambit. Um, Gambit is another one of my favorite X-Men, so I'll have to keep an eye out for that one. But Psylocke actually has a psychic knife with a light up psionic light feature. So I'm really curious to see if when I unbox her, if that feature will still work after all this time. Here we go. So this is a pretty decent sculpt on a figure from the 1990s. Um, there's a few paint scuffs on it, like right here. Uh, I can't say that that didn't originally come like that though, because, you know, sometimes the figures just came out of the box like that. Um, nice articulation on the legs. She bends at the knees and um, at the ankles. Not so great articulation on the arms though, unfortunately, because her uh, arms only move at the shoulder. So here she is with her sword and her psionic blade. We'll give her the benefit of the doubt. She may not be able to bend at the elbows because of the psionic blade light up feature. So let's test that out and see if it works. It is activated by this button on her back, so let's test it out. One, two, three. Oh, it works! It's kind of hard to see in the light, but it does light up. That's awesome. So I brought her over here to this darker area so you can really see. It lights up pretty well. Not too shabby at all. And like our hedgehog friend, Psylocke actually starred in a Game Gear game as well. Initially, you only start off with Cyclops and Wolverine as playable characters. But, if you beat the um, Brood level, <clears throat> you get Psylocke as a playable character. Here's the big boss of the level, the Brood Queen. And upon beating her, you now have... Ta-da! Psylocke. Psylocke has standard punches and kicks. And you can also activate her mutant power, which is her psychic knife. As you can see, regular punches and kicks will take several hits to kill an enemy. But the psychic knife will basically take out regular bad guys in one hit. Miss Elizabeth has a rich gaming history. Besides the aforementioned X-Men for Sega Game Gear, she's also been prominently featured in many Capcom games, including X-Men Children of the Atom, again in Marvel Super Heroes, and spotlighted on the cover of Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I actually did some research to pinpoint all the games you can find her in. This is what I believe to be a complete, or at least near complete, list of all of Psylocke's game appearances. Please note that this does not include browser-based or mobile games. Various means that the game was released on more than one system. Playable indicates that Psylocke is a playable character. Cameo means that she makes a guest appearance, and varies means that it depends on the game or game mode. The 
Besides her super rad purple hair, Psylocke's sword martial arts and psychokinetic abilities contribute towards her status as a strong, beautiful, and capable fighter. That's why she's one of my favorite X-Men, alongside Gambit and Rogue, as well as a dynamic gaming heroine.